Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Mike here, or Mike's Weather Page. It's the 19th, and we have Tropical Storm Brett out in the Atlantic. Now, when I'm doing this video, it's still Tropical Depression, but um, this 5 o'clock update should be uh, Tropical Storm Brett, so that's what we're going to call it for the video here. Um, but can you believe it? We've been talking a lot about this. The waters are warm, unprecedented to be seeing a system out here in the... Uh, Atlantic like we're seeing right now and there's another one behind it. I'm gonna to talk to you at the end of this little quickie video So uh, I'm not gonna to go to too much. This is more just an update of what what's happened today. This is uh, tropical depression 3 Currently when I'm doing this video, but like I said, it's uh, gonna be designated tropical storm Brett here at 5 o'clock uh, Eastern so it's got the spin. It's got a lot of moisture. The NHC is expecting this to be a hurricane uh, as it nears the islands the lesser Antilles uh, as early as Thursday, you're going to start feeling the effects. Now, this is the cone. It's going to be um, updated every six hours, <clears throat> but we can see a hurricane. Uh, they're expecting a hurricane well before the islands, and uh, that's like t uh, two days, two days from now. Maybe on Wednesday, we might have Hurricane Brett. Um, so if you're down in the islands, for sure, you're watching this close down in the uh, Virgin Islands, Caribbean, Eastern Caribbean, Puerto Rico. This could be nearing Puerto Rico by uh, Friday into Saturday this week. Um, so yeah, well, a lot, a lot happening here with, with this system. Uh, the timing map here from the National Hurricane Center, you can see Thursday 8 a.m. We can start to see tropical storm force winds uh, reaching the islands um, as the storm approaches uh, from the east side. Where's it going? Well, here's some of the latest spaghetti models. Uh, we had a few that were pulling north. They've trended back with everybody else so pretty much a west northwest uh motion the uh overall look past five days is kind of sketchy um there's there's some models showing it fizzling out because of shear uh, there's going to be a lot of upper level winds coming in across that caribbean actually coming down um at the time frame over this weekend when our systems in uh the caribbean expected to have some wind shear coming up uh, from the northwest so a lot, of, a lot of models show a fizzle, so if you're in the continental U.S., you're in the Bahamas, uh, even, you know, close to Hispaniola, this thing might fizzle, but we need to watch it close because we've talked a lot about the water temperatures, and the water temperatures are way above normal, so, you know, anything can happen, so we're just going to have to watch this one close. No one really knows with that water temperature being so so much above normal, um, possibly, what, what could happen as far as you know maintaining some intensity all right so let's go to tropical tidbits these are your latest models tropicaltidbits.com uh the gfs showing our new system behind i'm going to get into it in a minute this is invis 93 but the gfs is showing a hurricane near the islands with some sort of a bend back up it's really the only model showing that uh the latest euro pretty weak system here once it passes the islands uh kind of fizzles it out over the weekend the latest euro and here's uh, Invest 93 starting to do a little bit more uh, northern pull to it. I'm going to get get into that here in a second. High pressure. High pressure that's blocking our system now, Brett, is going to slide off a little bit more to the uh, east. And that's going to allow the, our next system, Invest 93, to curve a little bit more to the north. And there are signs, which I'm not going to get into the video here, but there are signs that we could have a third wave that might go a little bit more west, kind of like Brett. Um so there you go. So the euro's not showing much. Uh, definitely showing a fizzle in the Caribbean. There's uh, Invest 93 curving up. And then uh, Canadian model, kind of the same thing. On approach, there's uh, touching the islands Thursday morning. Our second system doing a little bit more uh, North Pole. And then the Canadian having our uh, system weaken up, weaken out a little bit. The uh, earlier run for the Canadian actually had it stay together and get turned up a little bit. So that's what you always want to watch. If this thing somehow maintains some sort of a, a core spin, you know, that water in that Caribbean is super duper hot. So that's why I think the NHC is going a little bit above their intensity forecast over the models right now. A little bit more common sense of what, what's, what's happening with the water temps. And then the icon uh, showing, you know, almost the same thing. Kind of a fizzle in that Caribbean. And then it's showing the two systems, uh, Invest 93 and then that new one coming off of Africa possibly to watch. This is Invest 93. This is maybe that new one. We'll see about that. Um, regardless, you know, the winds on this thing, we got a lot of winds in the north. So wherever the eye expects to go here, uh, you're going to have a, the most, most of the heaviest winds are going to be on the north side. 
they're going to, a lot of them are going to be coming in, coming from the east, and then, of course, wrapping around. So the, the north side of our system is going to be the windy side. And that, you know, that plays a lot uh, if it's going to stay south of y'all and, and, you know, the islands, Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico. You can still have a lot of winds and, and of course, rain. There's, you know, always tropical systems bring a lot of rain. Um, now, this is the one model that's got everybody, you know, got me kind of wondering, you know, what we're going to see. This is an intensity model. It's on tropicaltidbits.com. It's all the different models and what they're thinking intensity-wise. Even though some of those models we showed show a weakening system, there's still quite a few showing, you know, yellow range is hurricane range. Uh, even the h wharf, which does really good with intensity, those are the ones, in my opinion, we got to watch because h wharf. Uh, does very well with intensity, especially in the islands, uh, and it's predicting you know above a category two. So just keep that in the back of your mind a little bit. That the H wharf is sometimes right. Um, we got to watch that. But what I'm seeing here is you know down five days, uh, which would put it closer to the weekend. Uh, not showing a lot of um, um, you know falling off here. We'll we'll see. You know a lot of more dissolving it. So. The big question mark is going to be, of course, what happens when it enters the Caribbean. How does it fizzle? Does it maintain itself a little bit? That that'll be what we're watching. The other area is down here. It's orange. This is called Invest ninety three. Now all this stuff's updated on my website, Mike's Weather Page. You can Google Mike's Weather Page or SpaghettiModels.com. I also have an app that has all this stuff on there. So Invest ninety three is updated with spaghetti models and everything else. Uh, the NHC is expected fifty percent chance this could develop, uh, and it would go more of a, a little bit more north, like I was talking about the. Uh, Currently, there's a high pressure overhead our system now, and it's kind of blocking. But this high pressure is expected to move out, and when it does move out, uh, there's going to be a little more opportunity to, to pull north on this system. So that's what we got. Uh, what it looks like here, far, far, far away, this current satellite, there's uh, Brett, and then here is Invest 93, really close. And then you can kind of see that third wave coming off. Let's go to... Um, latest weather nerd satellite and here you go one two three and those are big those are pretty big waves out there uh overall size is is pretty impressive on these uh waves brett invest and now our new one so a lot of moisture out there and uh we can put it in motion here if you just kind of get an idea what it looks like and there they are one two three so pretty crazy um we'll see we'll see what this one does a lot of precipital water out there. We'll go back to Mike's weather page all the way down here. This is a popular uh, map on the very bottom here because we have a lot of new links. Uh, but animated precipital water map shows the amount of moisture in the atmosphere, the yellows and the reds and the oranges. And you can see the spin. A lot of moisture tied in with uh, Brett and, and the Invest 93 behind it and what's coming off Africa. And there's more coming. So Season kick starting early. You know, we got hot water. Could have a lot of storms before peak season this this year to watch as uh, conditions kind of don't know what month it is. <laughs> so there you go. All right, we'll be live tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, uh, um, for the Daily Brew, 919 Eastern. And we'll go over all the latest overnight models, all the latest ensembles, and, and catch everybody up to date in the morning of what's going on with our po possibly three systems. Who would have who thought, right? All right, well, have a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.